I was like, nah, this shit is going down today. I don't care. I don't care. Like, it's going down. Like, Hey y'all, welcome back to my Chanel. I don't even know why I said that like that. That sounds very silly, don't know what it But I like when she says it. Anyways, welcome back guys. Happy Valentine's Day. I am hoping to post this on Valentine's Day because you know, in the theme of love, I just wanna talk about um, a story. I don't even know what I'm gonna name this as of yet, but I was just thinking of things that I could talk about that's like Valentine's Z themed and um today's video is gonna be a story time and it's gonna be a story time about how I like had to get the D <laughs> I was not playing no games I had to give a little backstory so this story is about me and my current boyfriend um like who y'all saw in my last video today is actually our anniversary tomorrow's Valentine's Day but our anniversary is February 13th and I think he knew what he was doing when he did that. But that's another story for another day. But anyways, also guys, wait, hold on. Before we even get into the story, like, could we look, could we appreciate my nails really quickly? Cause I never really get like colors and I asked my nail lady to do something like pinksy for Valentine's Day. Get into it, yeah. As to get into the story, I gotta give a little backstory or any know the vibe. So, um, when me and Mike did our video last time, you know, we did talk about how, like, we've been together for just about, well, actually, as of today, seven years. And when we first met, you know, uh, we both were going through some, we had just got out of, like, two super bad situations. And at first, we were taking things a little slow a little too slow for my liking but we were taking things slow so mike slid into my dms that's how we met and um you know he wrote me like this whole nice message he's like hey my name is mike uh, uh i think you're pretty i like to get to know you da, da, da. and so from there like we started talking on instagram a little bit and then um he asked for my number i gave him my number and then at that time i was working overnight as he was too so we would talk a lot on the phone like late at night while we both were at work because i was working in the check cashing at the time so my job was super boring because no one really went into the check cashing like after 12 anyway um and he was working security so his job was boring as well we both would be just be sitting at work so we used to talk a lot on the phone while we were at work so you know like we was bobbing getting to know each other whatever whatever it was cute or whatever so we did that for like maybe i want to say like a week or two maybe just about and um one night we were talking on the phone and <laughs> he tried to lie and say that he was um that he was leaving work no he tried to lie and say he was not at work like basically but i caught him in his lie because like if you're from new york then you know like the train station is mad loud like so it makes announcements like when trains are coming so he he literally like five minutes before he had told me he was at work but then two minutes after that it said there's an uptown bound one train coming in two minutes so i'm like how you are at work by here at the train station so we started going back and forth for like a little hot second and i was like well i'm I, if the one train is coming that first of all that's some od stalker ish like my my ears are supersonic and they mad small i don't know what happened with that because i can't hear shit now but i heard that shit say one train so i was like well you on the one line like and you like me come come see me at work because i was bored i was tired i was alone you know so i was like oh come see me like you know i work so he winds up getting on the train he gets off like when i'm working at, at that time i was working um i can talk about it now because i don't work for that company no more but i was working um uptown like on a one line and like a uh, marble hill like cross street from um the i think it's marble hill projects or whatever i was working on a check cash in there so i didn't think he was really gonna come though i thought he was gonna go home so i was like this boy ain't coming so anyways he came or whatever we was chatting it up i think we went to go get something to eat after and then he went home or whatever but he was like super like a gentleman he didn't try to like make a move or anything he was just chill which i loved because i was like you know 
So then um, we met up a few times after that. Like sometimes he would come and meet me like when it was about to be time for me to get off because I used to work 12 to 8 and he used to work like 12 to 7. So it would give him enough time to get to where I was by the time I was ready to get off. So um, we had met up a few times, whatever. We still were talking like every day, like every day. So um, after that, we had went on like a date or two, I think. Um, we had went on a few dates actually. And so, you know, after that, I'm like, okay, you know, I like him. I'm feeling his vibe, whatever. He's cool. I want to know what the thing like. Like, I want to know what it's hitting for. Because I'm not trying to get involved and get all my feelings involved. And then, you know, the it's trash. So, you know, but he was super, like, laid back. Like, I think we had only kissed, like, maybe, like, once or twice maybe three times and so at this time i was i was i mean technically i wasn't homeless i was homeless okay so i was homeless well i wasn't homeless i was sleeping in my brother's house in brooklyn but it was not a very i'm trying to find a nice way to say this it was not a very comfortable living situation so what I used to do, um, being that I was making a little money because I was still working, I would get like hotels here and there, like just to, you know, clear my head, be by myself, not be around a bunch of people and just clear my head and, you know, like re reset. Like that would be kind of my thing. I would get a hotel for like a day or two, chill, reset and, you know, then go back to the normal routine, which, you know, was me trying to find a place of my own that was stable. So, you know, after a while, I, you know, I wanted to know what it was here for. So, I like, it was a few times that we had saw each other and I tried to, like, but he was kind of, like, and I was, like, wait, but you like me, but you acting, like, so, it, huh? it was confusing. I just didn't know how to read him at that time because we didn't know each other, like, super, super well, but I, we were getting to know each other, but also it was, like, yo, like, I want to know what it's here for, so... So I have one. I called my friend, my bro, um, Denisha, and I was like, yo, like, I don't know what to do. Like, I like this guy. I'm trying to, you know, and I don't know what it's in for. So, so what happened was I wound up booking a hotel the week before for the following week, right? So my intent was to do like regularly scheduled program, you know, get the little telly, you know, chill, get my, clear my head and then go go back about my business but as the day kept getting close like say like i ordered it on like a thursday and i ordered it for like the following tuesday and wednesday or whatever as the day started getting closer i was thinking more about it because i'm like i don't want to be alone and i want to see you peacock, cock, cock, your peacock. like also i can kill two birds with one stone like i can see what it's hitting for but i just felt like he was being so like gentlemanly that he wouldn't i didn't want to be too forward and be like oh come be with me at this hotel you know what i mean because i wasn't trying to like i don't know how to explain it it wasn't like i was just not trying to be like oh just you know i wasn't trying to pounce on him i was trying to ease him into what i was trying to do and also in my defense also I was deprived at this time. Like it was, I was, your girl was in a major drought. I had not gotten in like six months. Yes, you heard me correctly. Like six months. I was stressed the F out and I had pent up aggression that I needed to let out. So I had already booked the room like way ahead of time. I talked to my friend. I was like, yo, like, what should I do? Like, should I, you know, should I invite him to come with me to the thing? And she was like, yeah, tell him da 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 da. So another mini story time inside of a story time. So before that day happened, right? I can't believe I'm exposing myself like this. This is in the name of love, like for real, for real, because I'm just exposing myself OT, but I don't even care anymore. So anyways, um, I had spoke to my friend about it. She was like, yeah, like, da da da, be all grown up. So um, I had went to Target <laughs> to get condoms. <laughs> And this boy, like, that's how I knew he was, like, a little, like, because he didn't even understand what was happening. So, basically, you know how, like, on the iPhone, like, the 
iMessage pops up or whatever. So I was in Target trying to get condoms, right? Remember, your girl hadn't done the do in a little minute. So I didn't know like what to get. So I was texting. So I was texting him and texting my friend at the same time, right? And somehow, like, I was in the aisle, like, trying to figure out. And I know the, the employees, like, whoever's looking on that camera, they was like, yo, this girl is bugging out. I'm standing in front of the condom section, like, <laughs> like this, like, looking crazy. And so I'm texting my friend, and I'm texting him at the same exact time. And I don't know how I didn't see that the notification said his name, but I thought it was my friend texting me. And I'm like, girl, like, I'm trying to pick out these condoms, like, da 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 but I didn't think nothing of it. So I just sent the message, like, through the notification. And then I'm just still there trying to pick out, like, what I'm going to get, right? So why are you texting me back, like, what are you buying condoms for? Huh? Sir, this is not even your conversation. Like, what do you even, what? Like, I didn't even understand what happened. But then I realized, like, I texted him accidentally when I thought I was texting my friend. Which is, like, mad embarrassing. And I was just like, you know, just in case of something <laughs> like I, don't, I didn't know what to say so anyways that happened like the weekend before and so on the day of um I think the day before because I was working overnight so I had worked the night before I had like a 12 to 8 shift so me and him have been speaking throughout the weekend so I was just like yo um Tuesday we should go out and he was like oh that's cool because I, I think he got off of work early or he didn't have to work or something like that so I was like oh Tuesday we should do something and so <laughs> so the day comes right so now mind you I had to work the night before so I got off at like eight in the morning so I ran back to Brooklyn mind you I'm going to Brooklyn from Harlem so this is a long ass ride I don't know why I didn't just bring my stuff with me but also I couldn't check in until like four so I run back to Brooklyn, get myself ready, like take a long, nice long hot shower, um, you know, get dressed, pack a little bag. And then I was like, probably, I probably took like a two hour nap and then was out, back out the door because I was like, oh, like check-in is at four. No, yeah, check-in was at three actually. So I wanted to make sure I was there in time for check-in because I wanted to utilize my time because you know, the coins wasn't hitting like they was. So I was like, look, I need to utilize every second that I get of this because, um, you know, whatever, whatever, because I would do it sporadically. Like it wasn't like a set routine thing, but it was something that I would do here and there just to, you know, give myself that time. So basically, um, so now I got my bag and all this stuff. I'm heading back to the city because the, the hotel, I'm not going to say what hotel it was because, no, but it was in the city. So it was near, um, it was near, uh, 34th street so i was in brooklyn so i had to ride like maybe an hour and some change back to the city to go to the place so as i'm getting ready taking and out doing all this stuff i'm texting him and meanwhile i'm like oh like da -da -da, i can't wait for you to see the surprise da -da -da. and <laughs> he's like wait where are we going so i'm like i'm not telling you like i'm gonna just send you the address and you just meet me there so basically i get to the city or whatever i get to the hotel this is the part where like my it because it was supposed to be a whole surprise thing and the surprise was basically ruined by these people so basically i get to the hotel so i what i didn't know at the time was that this is like a super big like tourist hotel like a lot of tourists go to this hotel or whatever so the check-in line no lie like i got there at like three on the dot that line was almost out the door like it was so fucking long for no reason so i'm like damn like because i told him to meet me there like around four so i'm like damn i might not even make it to the front in time so i'm like damn all right so i get there like three i'm on the line i'm waiting 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 so then after that it hits like maybe like uh four no it hits like 3.30, I'm still online waiting. Like, I was waiting for mad long. So as I'm waiting, he won't text. So, cause, all right, so then at three, when I got there, I texted him the address. Cause I'm thinking like he's in the Bronx. It's gonna take him like an hour to get here anyway. So at like three, I was like, oh, meet me here at this address. But he didn't, I guess he didn't Google it or anything. Like he just was like, all right, like this one me at. So I'm on the line. I'm on the line and the man, Mike, 
this man freaking um t texts me like oh i'm here where you at sir like let me let me get myself settled like why are you here like i told you four it's like 3 30 like why are you a half an hour early so now i'm like damn he's freaking early god so now i'm now i'm embarrassed because i'm like now i have to explain to him why we're at this hotel and why i told him to meet me here so basically he comes so i'm like oh go inside he's like so he calls me i'm like i'm like oh go inside and he's like inside of the hotel and i'm like yeah go inside <laughs> and so he comes he comes in he walks in and he sees me online and i have like i think i had like a little duffel bag or a little suitcase with me so he was like he was like what are you doing here so i was like i'm getting the room like and he was like you get in the room like i'm like i'm getting the room like sir like so basically I had to check in. Um, the check-in process was like mad tedious. And um, so we had, I had checked in. So once I had checked in and everything, we went upstairs or whatever. The things didn't go down like immediately. Like at first we was just chilling, we was talking. So I was like, after all of that, I wanted to take another shower. So I was like, oh, like, you know, make yourself comfortable. I'm about to take a shower and, you know, put something comfortable on my drink. And you know, whatever, whatever. Cause we have been chilling, talking. I think I had a bottle with me. So we was just, you know, we was just vibing or whatever. So I was like, nah, this shit is going down today. I don't care. I don't care. Like it's going down. Like, All I can tell y'all is that it's about to go down. So I in the shower, you know, put on some smell goods or whatever, put on my little, I ain't gonna lie, this time I cannot even afford lingerie. Like I was so poor. But I had like some cute Vicky secrets, you know, to, you know, you know, a little three for, three for 38, you know, you know the vibe. So, um, I had, when the shower got out, so I was looking good. So when I came out, he was looking like, like literally like that. <laughs> and so I was like, oh, like, can I, can I come lay next to you? <laughs> Yo, I was so fucking corny. So then like, you know, we get in the bed or whatever and you know we start talking and um you know he, he can he now he know the vibes like i'm trying to you know i'm trying to i'm trying to i'm gonna get something like <laughs> i did not mean that like in a gross way but i was trying to listen sometimes you gotta take matters into your own hand so anyways i in the bed we start talking or whatever and you know we chatting it up and he said something. He was like, "Oh, you something this something special about you? Some some corny whatever whatever." And I was like, "Oh wow!" And he was like, "Oh, because because I I'm in love with you." Like, and I was like, "Wait, I was gonna I was gonna give you some regardless. <laughs> like, we didn't even have to do that, but um, he actually did mean it. He was sincere. I could feel that he was sincere, and you know." At that point in time, I was very afraid of falling for anybody because I had got a really bad situation. So, you know, I had to let him down easy in that part. I felt bad, but I was like, you know, I'm not dating yet, but I really do care about you, blah, blah, blah. And I got me some, and it was good, and I was happy. <laughs> and then, um, you know, we did do, you know, a little thing, thing whatever. And afterwards, he dead left me. So he dead left me because um, he was like, I didn't bring any of my work clothes. I had to work in the morning. Like, it was late at night. It was like maybe like 10, 11. I was like, just stay. Like, da da da, go out tomorrow. Like, he was like, nah, like, I gotta go. And he dead left. And so I thought, like, all right, like, you left me. Well, I was like, well, at least I got something. Like, and um, I remember, like, <laughs> when he left, he was like, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry, da, da, da. and I was like, nah, it's okay, you didn't even know what you was coming in for, so, but I thought, in my head, like, oh, that's it, like, we not gonna, you know, it's not gonna go anywhere, because, you know, but after that, I remember calling my friend, I'm like, damn, I don't know how to feel about this now, maybe I was too aggressive, <laughs> and, um, basically, after that, 
once he got that thing, we was inseparable. So it was the complete opposite. I in that moment I felt like, oh damn, like maybe I fucked up because I know he's a good guy. But after he got that thing, let me tell you that thing, that thing. Listen, we was inseparable. The next day he's like, all right, I need you to meet my family. I need you to. Oh wait, no, I think I already met his family. But you know what I mean. Like he was in love and we were inseparable. So, and we still together. So, I just love him, right? But um, that's just a story about how I had to take things into my own hands because, ladies, listen, don't be scared. Like, sometimes you can't wait on a man. No. Sometimes we, we got to, listen, you got to get, get your release, okay? So, oh, God, I hope my mom don't watch this video. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day. Um, you know, it's all about love. We spreading the love. And even if you ain't got a significant other, spread the love still. Like, because there's somebody out there for you. And if even if you don't want nobody, sometimes you ain't want nobody. So, but I'm just embarrassed right now because I'm like, damn, I think my brother be watching my YouTube videos too. <laughs> I'm going to make it a title where you know not to click on it. That's, that's all I can do. But... Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Happy Valentine's Day. Like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to follow your girl on Instagram, leash.uchiha, okay? And I'll see y'all next time.